What's up everybody, my name is Saf, hope you're fine and doing well. Well guys, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Android Pie on Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now guys, in the first part of this video, I'll be showing you the review of the ROM. And in the second part, I'll demonstrate you the how you can install the ROM on the device itself. And this video is brought to you by SaveByMole.com. Thanks to them for making this video possible. They're running absolutely amazing deals on their website, through which you can get awesome products for relatively cheap prices. Check the link in the description of this video to learn more about that. So guys, Android Pie brings in some of the biggest changes that we have seen in core Android experience in a long time. So guys, first of all, I would like to show you the Android version on which this ROM is currently running on. So for that, I would like to take you inside of a bad phone. And right here, guys, you can see that it says that the Android version of this ROM is 9. If I go ahead and tap on uh, and reversion a couple more times it gives me this beautiful easter egg now guys there are a lot of great changes inside of this rom but the most prominent one which has gotten a lot of chatter since the release of this android version is the task manager layout now guys if i go ahead and tap on this multitasking key on my s7 edge you can see that it gives me this new task manager and the great thing about this task manager is that it not only shows the applications in this vertical carb layout but it also allows you to make split screen of any individual app inside of this task manager so guys in order to do that all you have to do is to just long press on any of the applications icon inside of this tray just like that and right off of that you will get these two options so you have app info and split screen option now if you go ahead and tap on split screen you can see that it shrinks the applications right up at the top now if you go ahead and open up any other application uh, let's go with chrome for this video you can see that it gives me this capability to use both of these applications simultaneously on one screen pretty handy man now guys talking further about the ui changes well android pie comes with a new theme which i personally really like because of the fact that it looks really clean so with that being said if i go ahead and drop down the notification tray you can see right up at the top the widget icons are now round and they are also spaced out quite a lot making the overall appearance really organized and you can also shovel the icons of the widgets very easily by tapping on this pencil icon just like that now guys, in Android Oreo, we had a feature that would change the theme of the system to either dark or white depending upon the wallpaper that was applied on the home screen. Now guys, for this video, I'm using a very bright wallpaper on my S7 Edge, which is making the theme to go with light or white theme. Now guys, if we go ahead and choose a different wallpaper, which is really dark in color, that will also change the theme on this Android version. So to show you that, I would like to apply this dark wallpaper on my home screen. And now if I go ahead and bring down the notification tray you can see that the theme has changed to this dark version now the best thing about this android version uh, is that it allows you to force the system to choose either dark or white theme depending upon your taste so let me show you the, how you can do that all right guys now i'm going to be showing you the, how you can force the system to apply the theme according to your taste without taking care about the type of wallpaper that is applied on your home screen so uh, for instance you're having this dark theme going on so in order to change that you have to get inside of settings and from there you have to tap on display advanced and right down below you will find device theme go ahead and tap on that and from here you have to change the settings from automatic to either light or dark so i'm going to be going with light theme for this video now if i go ahead and drop down the notification tray you can see that my theme uh, finally gets changed and guys in android pie the layout of the volume slider also gets changed along with its placement so now uh, instead of being shown up at the top it is shown at the edge of the phone just like that and you can also change the profile of your system by tapping on this icon just like that and in older versions of android when you would change the volume using the slider it would not change the media volume but now it does and i'm a really great fan of this thing and of course guys i cannot do justice with you without showing you the most prominent feature of android pie of course i'm talking about the new gestures so to enable gestures on a year galaxy s7 edge running android pie you have to get inside of settings and then you have to navigate to system and from here tap on buttons and right here right up at the top you will find this option right here saying enable on screen nav bar so we're going to enable that and right off of that you will find the navigation bar enabled on your device 
All right, folks, so let me show you a couple of gestures that you can make inside of this system. So to get inside of the task manager, all you have to do is to swipe up from the bottom just like that. And if you go ahead and swipe up one more time, it will take you inside of the app drawer. Now, guys, you can also access the applications running inside of the background by just dragging uh, this little line in the bottom left or right just like that. And guys, in Android Pie, the text selection tool has also gotten a new revamp. If you wish to select a sentence, you will see this magnification glass on top of your finger. And on top of that, uh, inside of the main pop-up menu, you will also find the web search option. So now you won't have to add a new page and search for a specific thing because you can do that here by just one click. And guys, the camera app on this ROM also works pretty fine. So on the bottom, you have only one key, which is the shutter key. And if you want to add access the video key you have to swipe from the left side of your screen and right here you will find the video mode now you can also access the settings of this application by tapping on this gear icon right here and right here you will find up at the top resolution and quality the save location option and the advanced option and inside of advanced option uh, you will get the manual exposure power shutter and bright screen options and guys, this ROM is also pretty good in terms of battery. It provides me pretty much a full day battery life, which is pretty impressive. And on top of that, if you want to extend your battery life a little more, you can enable the battery saver mode that comes along with it. So to enable that, you have to get inside of settings and then you have to tap on a battery. And right off of that, you will find this option right here, which says battery saver and performance. Go ahead and tap on that. And right from here, enable this toggle. And right off of that, you will find a new battery icon inside of the status bar showing that the battery saver mood has been turned on all right guys i'm sure i have shown you pretty much all the essential things which were to be shown you regarding this rom i'm going to be showing you how you can install this rom on your galaxy s7 or s7 edge now guys the required files for installing this rom include the odin file magisk group manager rom file and last but not the least the google app so first of all i'll show you the how you can uh, install the required custom recovery on your galaxy s7 an edge for installing this from all right guys now before we go ahead and show you that what you have to do on pc you have to first of all uh, get inside of the download mode on your phone so in order to do that you have to press and hold the lock key home key and the volume down key simultaneously and within a couple of seconds you will be booted inside of the download mode all right folks so the required torp recovery for installing the rom is 3.2.3.0 and i'm going to be flashing this torp recovery through odin application so i'm going to open it up and after that uh, what you guys have to do is to uh, take your phone which is inside of download mode and connect it with uh, your pc and after that you have to uh, click the volume up key. All right, so after that you will see a blue box inside of audit application at this place This basically shows that now you are ready to flash the files on your phone All right, so with that being said you have to tap on AP and from here you have to select your tour recovery of version 3.2.3.0 All right, so after that go ahead and tap on OK uh, I'm sorry, uh, it was open. All right, so after that, you have to tap on start and within a couple of seconds, the flashing procedure will begin. All right, so here we go. It has begun now and within a couple of seconds, uh, the tour recovery will be installed as well. All right, so my phone has booted up. Now, uh, all you have to do is to just uh, get inside of the tour recovery and let me show you the, how you can do that. All right, guys, now in order to get inside of the Torp recovery, you have to press and hold the lock key, volume up key, and home key simultaneously. And within a couple of seconds, you will be taken inside of the recovery mode. So guys, once you are inside of the Torp recovery mode, go ahead and tap on Vibe and then Advanced Vibe. Here you have to select these items. So after the selection, swipe to wipe them up. Alright guys, now you have to move to the location where you saved your ROM file. Well, for me, it's inside of the internal storage main folder. So I'm going to be choosing a Lineage OS 16.0. So go ahead and swipe to flash it. So within a couple of seconds, this will also be flashed. And right off of that, we will install the G apps. Alright guys, the ROM has been successfully flashed and now it's time to flash the open G apps. So go ahead and swipe to flash them just the way you flashed your ROM file. File. And after that, uh, we will be left with the Magisk Root Manager, so we will be flashing that as well. 
Alright hey folks, now let's install the Magisk Root Manager. So guys, after this file has been flashed, you can easily reboot your system and enjoy the Lineage OS. So I'm going to be giving it a couple of seconds and after that, uh, I'll reboot my system. So guys, after you have flashed all the required files, you can go ahead and tap on Reboot System option and your phone will start booting up. Now guys, the first boot is going to be taking a lot of time. It might take 20 minutes, it might take 30 minutes. So don't panic, sit back and give it some time and your phone will be finally booted up. Now guys, uh, this wraps up the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you had any queries, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out crazy deals over at safebymole.com. They do free shipping with 8 months of lifetime technical support and also provide money back guarantee. Check the link once again in the description of this video to learn more about that.